Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to the Stitch Mesh Setup in Moto, which lets you quickly add stitching to your mesh items. There are several ways of adding stitching to your mesh using the Stitch Mesh Setup, and in this example, I'll use this edge selection as the curve source. With the edges selected, click Stitch Mesh Setup to open the Stitches dialog. You can use a custom mesh as the stitch, but in this example, I'll take advantage of one of the stitch presets by leaving the Use Stitch Preset option enabled. For the Curve Source attribute, I'll choose Selected Edges Procedural. This option will generate a curve that is procedurally linked to the mesh. That way, if the mesh is edited, the curve and the stitches will change with it. Click OK to choose which preset you'd like to use, select the preset, and click OK. The stitch item is created and provides several options you can work with in the Properties panel. Since the stitch item is procedural, you can edit these settings interactively. Several stitch variants are available, making it easy to create a variety of stitch patterns, each with their own attributes. You can also add stitch holes to your mesh using a stitch hole texture. It defaults to using a bump layer effect, but you can change the layer effect easily in the shader tree if you prefer displacement, diffuse color, or any other layer effect you'd like to work with. Use this powerful setup to speed up the task of adding stitching detail to your meshes. Oh, look at the time.